What do you mean by a virtual base class in C++? My name is Rishi Ranju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering community where I make engineering easy for you. So let us ask yourself that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term virtual base classes in C++? Well, let's run out. So let us consider a particular base class like this. A base class A. And now let us derive two subclasses from this particular base class. Say class B and class C. And now from these two base classes let us derive another single class A, class D. So here from class A we have derived two subclasses class B and C. And from these two subclasses we have again derived a single class, class D. So what we observe here is that the data members and member functions of class A will go to class B. B and class C and after that a class D is derived from both these classes. So in that case what we observe is that the data members and member functions of class A will be inherited onto class D both from class B as well as class C. That is the data members and member functions of class A will first go to class B and then it will go to class D. Whereas the data members of class A will go through class C and then it will go to class D. So therefore now what we observe here is that in class D it has the data members and member functions inherited from class A both through class B and class C. And therefore when we try to access a data member or a member function of class A through an object of class D we will be given an error because the data members and member functions of class A are inherited onto class D both from class B and class C. So therefore an error arises there. So therefore for us to overcome that error we declare this class A as a virtual base class. So therefore as we declare the class A as a virtual base class and then if we try to access the data members or member functions of class A through an object of class D then we won't be thrown an error. That is simply why we use a virtual base class. As simple as that. So here is how we use a virtual base class. So first we will have a class A. So now we have a class A over here. Now we have to inherit class B and class C from class A. So here we write class B which is inherited from. We first give the access mode which is public and then we have to specify virtual class A. So now this is how we declare a virtual base class. And now next we have class C which is also derived from a virtual class A. And now finally we have class D which is inherited from both class B as well as class C. So this is simply how we use a virtual base class. So therefore here by declaring this particular class A as a virtual base class and now if we try to access any of the data members of class A through an object of class D then we won't be thrown an error. We'll be able to access it. So therefore this thus is simply why we use a virtual base class. Just so that we won't be thrown an error while accessing the data members of the member functions of class A while being inherited through two classes like this. That is when we use a virtual base class. As simple as that. This thus is a simple idea of how you can use a virtual base class. This is simply why we use a virtual base class. As simple as that. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as a virtual base class in C++. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.